what's going on everybody and welcome back to episode 28 of the walking dead series in seven days today i'm here over here at the home base and in the last video we finished off with making well we didn't finish off the video but at some point in the video we made an auger which as you can see is now completed and that is extremely nice let's just equip it here and look at this bad boy let's get some fuel into this Let's see how much of this we can put in here. Turn that on and boom, look at this. This is sick. Okay, well, I don't think I'm going to have much use for that today. So I'm going to put this in the tools area here with um, all this other gear. And I also finished making the mini bike chassis and handlebars, but something popped into my mind. I was looking through to get more, um, you know, of these pieces here. And I'd seen the golf cart accessories and I had completely forgot that the golf buggy or golf cart as the game calls it um is actually the same in the same tier as the mini bike so i could have made this instead of the mini bike which i think i'm still gonna do that um it's not that much more expensive i just need to make some forged iron and then i have enough to assemble and i just need two extra wheels so i think i'm going to ditch the mini bike i know i spent resources on it but look it's my fault i didn't look into it too much and i should have been more aware of what i have here in my chests so that's all on me okay i have 50 forged iron being made there it's a bit overkill but it's nice to have a bit left over and yeah so that's all i want to do here at the base i now want to make my way over to the hard base which is just here as you know and I need to start getting some upgrades done on this. And actually, real quick, before I go, I also redesigned this. I now have moved my bedroom in here. So all of the, like, missing persons posters that were here and my little bed that was in the corner, I have now stripped out and moved in here. And I made some couches. They were kind of expensive. I used most of my nails for them, but I think they look pretty nice and it looks cool in here. I also made this mirror, which is actually just a shape you can get in here. And I didn't realize you could do that. That was stuff I probably would have put on my bases a long time before. But I didn't know you could make mirrors like that. And as you can see, I've also made a start on tearing out this part. I got rid of one and I got rid of the wooden pieces on this side. These are all like, you know, concrete. So they've got 5,000 hit points. I think I started on all of them just to check if they were... Um, all concrete but they are so i'm gonna wait and do that at a different time but this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this um art shape in here and then i'm gonna put a roller door on either side so i have two doors to drive in from and i might end up blocking this completely off i probably will so zombies cannot come in this way but anyways let's get on our bike here and head over to the horde base because the upgrades need to be done pretty early we're on day 28 and the horde is going to be attacking us later on today so I don't want to leave it too late and get it done nice and early. Alright, and here we are at the whore base. So the main thing I want to get upgraded here is this front piece. And I didn't bring any cobblestone with me, seriously? Oh, come on, man. I have to go back and grab cobblestone now. And we're back already. Not too bad. Nice and quick. Didn't take too long. Uh, missed a little spot there. Oh, maybe I've missed a few spots on this one. I'm also going to make up some frames here. I'm going to make maybe... 25 just for a bit of plating that i can put on the front of the base and also that pillar there definitely that pillar is what i'm going to focus on anyways okay well let's get this up to concrete on the sides here so that's basically the front face fully up to concrete and there we go that's the front face completely done and upgraded to concrete i'm now gonna put this up to concrete also the insides are already done. This is steel, so I'm probably going to have to replace this during the horde night, but that should be okay. I'll just drop the hatch and then we should be fine. Okay, and now I just have the plates here. I'm going to do on face, right? And I'm going to put one on either side of the pillar here and then just build it up. I'm probably going to... Yeah, I'll do it up that high. Why not? Okay, well, that's all the pieces placed there. Now I can get them upgraded onto concrete and then that should be most of the upgrades done i'm gonna check once again up inside the base just to make sure i'm not missing anything from the inside but um then we should be nice and ready to go so we can go about our day and get a few other things done 
Okay, and that's the plating done and fully upgraded to concrete. I only have 250 left, which I'm probably going to leave until the horde night, so I have stuff to upgrade. I might try and make a little bit more. might just do that right now, because if I do run out, it's going to be a problem. But let's just check on the inside of the base here. I think we are all okay. Nothing too crazy. I actually need to do the pillars down here. They are all upgraded in fairness to cobblestone, which I think they were in the last horde. But now we have concrete surrounding them, so hopefully the zombies don't break through this time. They might break through one spot or maybe two, but it shouldn't be as many as the last time. They got a decent amount of blocks completely broken on the last horde night. I'm also going to take these blocks out because I think in the next horde night I'm going to have one of the other posts set up. So it's time to open this and get it ready. And maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have waited till after the horde night. But if it becomes hassle, I will just patch it back up real quick. I should have blocks on me for the horde night. And speaking of blocks, I'm going to make another 25. Just to have them here in my inventory. And yeah, so I think the next option here is I need to go get a few more materials. Just to make a few um, small bits of concrete. What's up, dude? Okay, took his arm off. And I hit the bush. And there we go. He is down. And we can now drive straight into our garage here, which is actually pretty sick. And once I have the golf cart made, which this forged iron should be ready, it is. Um, and let's get making this, actually. I should probably do this right now. It didn't take all that long. I have all the pieces here taken out. I actually had nine um, forged iron made already. But now I can make this, the chassis. So let's craft this on up. That's only going to take four minutes, so that's going to be fairly quick. And then we can craft a golf cart, which will be really nice. And we have our first vehicle then. Okay, so this chest I have here is now going to be the chest I use for my Horde Knight stuff. Now that the bed's gone, it frees up this little corner. I was going to move the chemistry station over here because it fits perfectly. It's three blocks, so it fitted nicely into the corner. But then I didn't know what to put here. So I'm going to think about that because I think the room looks a little empty. When I stand back here, there's definitely some space that can be filled up. This, I quite like, and I'm going to keep this way. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with this chest. Um, I'm probably going to stop putting stuff in here, but I'll figure that out. And then the chests that I have in here. I have one here for like things like this, like my cigar, my treasure maps, which I also found a new one, Clouds, which I haven't read yet. I probably should read it, but I'm going to leave it for now. And then I have all my sellables now in here next to my bed. So it's nice and private away from my other stuff. So I can just close the door and not worry about it. I'm going to also make some repair kits because we're starting to run low. I think I only have, yeah, I have four there, which is plenty. But I'm probably going to use most of them right now. I'm going to repair my AK. Definitely my spear. The shotgun is okay, so that can stay there for now. And I'm going to put the other two. Oh, wrong chest. I'm going to put the other two repair kits over here for the horde now. I might leave some forged iron in there as well, just in case I need to repair the uh, the hatch door, the door that we have laying down in the horde base. So that's nice. And I also want to give the um, auger a try here. So I have it equipped down in where my uh, pickaxe usually is. So let's just go ahead and try this um, new tool out, which is pretty sick to be honest. Okay, and we've arrived. Let's try this bad boy out. Oh, yeah. This is so much better than using the pickaxe. And we've got a little zombie friend here. What's up, pal? All right, back to the augering. Okay, and I've done one full wipe of that right there. So that's nice and handy. I now have another... 2,000 stone. Oh my god, this is so much quicker. I love it. Now for some iron. Let's see what damage we can do here. Okay, the rain is clearing up and we are still digging through a hole here to collect some nice iron. I'm basically just giving this uh, auger a test run and kind of just reminiscing on how good it is to have a auger. I'm so excited to have this. Okay, you can hear a zombie here. Just had to get out real quick. As I was digging directly down, I didn't really leave a way for myself to run back up. But I think I'm going to leave that hole for now. I don't really need iron at the minute. I was just testing it out. But now I have, what, yeah, nearly 3,000 iron as well. 
and that took us no time at all so that is actually really really cool and i'm just gonna run back to the base real quick to drop off this little bit of loot and see how the furnaces are getting on and also craft the golf cart we're back at the base let's check on the old furnace here this i just had cooking some stuff up what did i just press on okay um and here i had nothing being made but this is where the main part is okay so we have our repair kit which is lovely we got some duct tape and we got our golf cart chassis Hey, well, I think I've had enough fun with the auger today. Thank you, my friend. I will see you shortly. And I'm also going to take these two robotic sledges with me. I might as well put them on top of the base. I think I have two up there at the moment, so won't do any harm having another two. And let's also take these pieces here and get the golf cart created. And here we go. As you can see, all the pieces here we have. And let's hit craft. Let's go. Our first motorized vehicle is being made. Thank you, Lord. Okay, guys, and the golf cart has been created finally. Let's actually put this in my actual inventory slot here. And let's make our way down here and get this bad boy placed. Boom. Look at this in all its glory. We have upgraded from our trusty old bike in the red die to the golf cart. Now, I'm just wondering, should I keep the team of the red vehicles and put a red die in this also? I think I have some red die up here. That I do. So, I'm actually going to take a few different colors here and just see which one I like. Because I do like having different colored vehicles here. And I also have a blue. So, there we go. So, here's the blue color. It looks pretty nice. But I don't think I'm going to go with that. We have brown. That looks alright. And we have the green. The little two green. And then the red. Which looks nice, but I think we might spice it up a little bit and go with the brown here. I think that looks pretty cool. And it looks like a dirtied, um, you know, golf cart. It looks like we've picked the parts up from a scrapyard and reassembled them. So I think that's what I'm going to stick with. I have also fully refueled her and we are now out of gas. So I think in the next episode, we are definitely going to make a trip over to the desert and do a massive oil shale mining because I'm going to end up running out of gas here and at least have a vehicle now to trip back and forth and also an auger which speeds up the process of collecting the oil shell. And there we go. Our nice golf cart parked really nicely here in its own garage. Lovely. So now we can leave the bike here. They can rest against that stairs after its wonderful um, time with us but it is now over. We are now onto the golf cart. Alright, well I want to make a quick trip over to Jen's and actually this might be the time to take out this thing here. Yeah, these don't cost uh, or take too much damage so they're only a thousand hit points so let's just get rid of this right now. Alright, and there we go. So we have a nice bit of space now so we can drive our vehicle out and let's make our way quickly over to Jen just to see if there is anything she has that might help us with the Horde Knight. And it actually is day 28 so her inventory would have restocked. Alright, and here we go up to Jen's. Let's just park her nicely right here. Close the gate behind us and let's see what Jen has in her new selected inventory. Hopefully it's some good loot. Okay, in terms of reading material, nothing special, and it now says restock day 31, so we do have new stuff. I'm going to buy the two steak meals. I always buy them if I can. Med kits I'm pretty stocked up on, and um, after doing that, pharmaceutical uh, popping pills, factory plants, so I don't need any of them anymore. That's some cement, actually. This might be helpful. Yeah, I'm going to buy some of that cement. But I'm actually going to take a quest offer for when we finish you know, we this mission. So let's just see here if there's any... We got good life apartments. Um, I'm still on the hunt for vehicle books. I know we just made a um, a golf cart, but I still want to focus on unlocking actual cars and not just a golf buggy. Okay, well, I don't see any quests there that indicate anything to do with vehicles. So let's just move on here and get back to the base. It's coming closer to the time of the Horde Night. And you know what that means, we need to lock, load, and prepare. We're back at the base, hopping out of our lovely golf buggy there. Can I open the hatch please? God damn. Okay, so I now have a bit of cement going, and I think... Okay, I wasn't making any in here. 
Probably should have been, but let's just whip that up. It's going to take five minutes altogether, so let's craft that. And I might just get started on the bit I have now. I also need some more stone and crushed sand. Damn, I don't know if I have actually a lot of sand right now. I only have 974, so that is going to minimize the amount of concrete mix we get we still get a fair amount though that's actually pretty good so for every one cement we do get one concrete mix so that's actually really good the only problem is this takes 13 minutes which i don't think is time i have to spare so let me find a few things to clean up here and it might be time to start making our way over to the base to make sure everything is teed up nicely in order for this horde night Alright guys, well we are almost at the Horde Night, it's time to take all of our gear here and unfortunately not all of the concrete mix here is going to be ready. So I think I'm just going to take what's here now, we now have 413 so that should be good. And we can now make our way over to the Horde base but first let me lock all the doors. And uh, yeah, see you later house. Okie dokie, and we're back here at the base. Let me just leave my golf cart out the back here, facing away in case I need to make a great escape. Let me close this up, and this actually looks extremely weird. Let me just fill this in with, you know, regular um, frames here. I'm not going to build them up or anything. And uh, let me just see here. I want to check on the turret I have up here. I've had him up here a while. Okay, so he's still full health, so obviously they don't get used that much up here. But um, still is quite useful. Let me just put that one there. Let me put this one here guarding the hatch door. And I'm also going to leave one here as well to guard, you know, this side of the grates. This side is kind of uncovered, but we should be all right. And let me just move this a slight bit closer, maybe like, yeah, I think there should be good. And I'm also going to drop a chest here for me to throw in any of the things that I'm not particularly going to be using this horde night and i've also brought some torches to finally light up the place so i'm gonna put one over here by the door and one behind me on this pole and we should be good to go The zombies have arrived, time to start tearing through these guys and seeing what type of damage we can do here. Alright, there's a cop to elsewhere. There's actually a few cops. Let me just let them spit their gear there and not hit me. And let's get cracking. We got a whole lot of zombies this time for sure. Gotta get rid of any of the zombies. Oh, damn. I thought he was gonna glitch through there. I gotta say, this new spear is working perfectly. And we are completely tearing through these zombies here. The spear is just unmatched. The only thing we need to focus on is landing our headshots. Otherwise, we are wasting our time, as you know, with the headshot only mod installed it does barely any damage if any at all when you hit them in the body still mowing through the zombies here almost a one shot hit every time and uh, use a few bullets of the machine gun here oh Take the few cops out. There's always a lot of cops on Horde Night and they're so annoying. I think one of them may have blew there and blew up some other zombies down below. Got a nice double hit there. Kill all of them. Come on, guys. You are no match for my new spear, I'll tell you that. 
One thing I will say that's great about having um, this new steel spear, even though the body damage isn't that much in the mod I'm using, at least it still knocks the zombies back. I just hit a zombie there and it definitely wasn't in the head and it sent him pretty far back, but I'd say probably with barely any damage done to him, so... Nice double kill again. This spear is working magically. Slowly but surely tipping through all of these zombies. It is now about to hit 12 o'clock and we haven't had too many problems so far. In terms of this horde night and the last few we've had, this has been the best one for sure so far. In the last few, we've definitely had one or two hiccups and I think it might have just been simply because we didn't have the right weapons yet. Can't seem to land my shots on the zombie here, there, or the cop zombie there. Eventually got him. Okay, this guy is gonna blow, I'm afraid. At least he dropped down. And let the fire begin. The blaze has been set once again. Ah, oh, now it's gone. This steel spear is definitely the move. This was a good choice to buy this. I'm glad we did. Because I feel like we would have had a problem if we didn't get this uh, this tier steel spear at this stage. I think we would have been in trouble if we were still using a um, iron level 5. Alright guys, well I just want to in a few seconds here check how the base is getting on and see what damage we are being dealt with. I've just heard a piece break so let me just drop them down now. And I've got a feeling it's one of the bottom pieces here. So let me just get my shapes out, which I have stupidly put away. And let me fix this up real quick. Also gonna repair the little top bits here. This back bit, the steel part actually hasn't taken much damage at all. It's taken very little. So let's bring these guys back up and get started again. want to bust out a few shots with this bad boy oh we got a double headshot kill right there and then another let's just line a few up here and just and we have a level up and i actually brought some of these with me so let me use a grandpa's elixir here real quick Probably should be dropping them when I do that, that's the whole point of having this mechanism, but oh well. Alright, getting a little crowded here, let's just get a few shots off with the shotty here. Not sure if I got too many kills with the second shot, but still like to lay it off. Alright, it's getting a little hairy here at the minute, so let me just drop these guys down. And let me pick up this bag because it's kind of getting in the way here at the minute. And I can hear a few birds up the way there. Uh, hacking away at the base. And this bot one takes the most damage, so I think for the next horde mount, I'm definitely going to have that um, built up to steel. Because that seems to be the main one that takes the most damage. I also want to try something out here, I've got some of these pipe bombs, I don't think there are any more of these guys so let me just throw that on down there. And yes that works, I might figure out a way to make a little like drop hole for my explosives, 
that way. I don't have to like run up on top just there like I did. I also think I heard some blocks breaking down below, so they may have got into the bottom of the base here. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm going to take a look down the ladder now in a second just to see if that is the case. And all of these guys are being caught ablaze here at the moment. This is chaotic, but I love it. Oh, and we have a breacher. That was close. God damn. Alrighty, let's get this patch back up again. As you can see, the front piece is getting absolutely battered. As always, seems to be the part that takes the most damage here in total. The top piece is taking a fair amount of damage also. Let me just fix that up. And let's also repair this because this is a crucial part to the base here. And this also needs to be put up to concrete too. So there we go. And now we can bring them on back up. Oh, we have another breacher here. Alright, I think it's time I lay some bullets off here with the AK just to clear up a few of them. There we go. Let's reload the weapon here and get this repaired. Get a few shots off with the shotty. And back to the spear. Alright, and we're coming closer to the end. The chime is about to go off. We are finished. And there we go. There is the chime. We have survived the day 28 horde. And it was probably the most, I wouldn't say easiest horde yet, but probably the one we were most prepared for. And there we go, our last few zombies. And I can see a few stragglers here, but I should be able to deal with them from the outside. So let me just eat up here as I'm extremely hungry. I didn't eat or drink through that whole horde night. And I keep doing that, so I need to be careful in future. And remember to eat some food. I actually have a stew with me, which I'm just going to eat straight away. Might be a bit overkill, but I may as well just get myself fully back up to being fully refurbished. So... Alright, well, let's just go out here and see the damage that was done. My trusty old um, golf car here took a little bit of damage, but nothing too mental. As you can see, it's now 83%, so the zombies were obviously getting in, and look at this. I forgot to upgrade this part of the wall, and this is where they got in through. They broke two blocks, but that's it. If you remember from the last horde noise... There was a hole here, down the front, in the middle. There was a few holes here, but I don't think you could run through. And there was definitely a few on this side, and there was a gap completely here the zombies could get through. So, having this fully, or mostly, upgraded to um, concrete level was definitely a big help this horde night. And having the new weapons, well, mainly the spear, was definitely a big help. Okay, well, I've put more or less everything away. Let me just get my concrete back out, actually. And maybe my cobble also. I might just do the repairs right now. Since we are only finished the Horde Knight. Just so I don't have to worry about it. And the only thing I really need to do for the next Horde Knight then. On the base is to just get a few posts upgraded to steel. And also add on the new addition. So in future when I drop the hatch like that. I will actually be raising another one here. So that will give me time for the zombies to stop running up this area realize they can get up to me from this side and then start running up this way which all takes time and that way i will have a new fighting position 
So this side will be taking damage and not this one. So this can get fully repaired. And I might even have one side automated with the automatic um, rifles or, you know, turrets that we have. So that might be a good option there to put them to some good use. And we have another wandering horde. This happened the last time we had horde night. A wandering horde came straight after. And this is happening again. As you can see, they're all just chilling there. Hopefully they don't see me and come over and bother me while I'm doing my repairs, but I can't help it if they do. Alright, well let's get to loot and I've basically cleared out my inventory here, bar my cement and cobblestone, obviously the few bits here. But let's see what we get. Alright, well I've picked up all the loot, so from the brass, the whole way down is all new stuff. So we now have a vehicle reserve fuel tank mod schematic, I'm going to read that, that's pretty good. This I've already read, but I'm not going to keep it, so I'm just going to read it. We've got electrical traps, We've got tools digest, tech planet, another lucky looter, but I've already read that one. And then we have tactical warfare, so the rest then is all stuff we found. So I'm just going to scrap the few bits that I feel like I don't need or I'm bothered to keep. And then we have another handy land here also. Actually, I missed that. We got some 762 and other bits here not the best loot from loot drops but you know you don't really expect to get your main loot from there it's all from exploring the map so okay and i've upgraded that back up to uh, concrete as well so let's just see the damage taken here not too much on this corner piece more on the side parts there a little bit of damage on that and the front part here this definitely took a lot less damage than it normally does Okay, and these um, pillars definitely took some more damage this time compared to last. And look, the plating worked out pretty well. As you can see, they didn't even get through one of the plates placed on top here. So that definitely reduced the amount of damage taken. Actually, I take that back. They got rid of one of them here. But um, it definitely was a good idea because there's no way you're dropping this pillar now. And the ramps took a bit of damage this time. So I think maybe for the next Horde Knight it's to get these upgraded. Yeah, look at this. They put a hole in the side. That is definitely something we need to be careful of. Because if the ramps go, then good luck to the zombies getting up to me. And then they're just going to start hitting the whole bottom level of the base. So maybe for the next Horde Knight I will get these upgraded to concrete also. Which shouldn't be too hard. I might not get all of it done. But the parts they seem to be hitting I should be okay to get. And hey, get away from my vehicle man. I only got it. God damn. Okay, well, I don't really want to be dealing with any more zombies. I think that is good for now. I actually need to grab my... And the zombies are all starting to come over here, really. Seriously, I can't jump. There we go. God damn. Right, well, I don't feel like dealing with another whole load of zombies, so I'm basically just going to take all my stuff here and make a run for it because I'm really not bothered to do this right now. So let me just hop out here and get into my golf cart and get the hell out of here. Alright guys, well I'm going to call this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. We have now finished the day 28 horde and it's now on to the next horde which will be on day 35 which is a decent while away. We now have a full six days more or less to get prepared for that but i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe and i will catch you in the next episode for episode 29 goodbye